There's been so many people that have covered this song, and uh, I think the ultimate cover and version of this song is performed by Jeff Buckley, who I'm a massive fan of, and he's a huge influence for me. Um, so yeah, I wanted to definitely pay tribute to, to both those artists, because Leonard Cohen is a brilliant poet, and you can just gather that from listening to the the beautiful words and the undertones of you know how he ties in like religion and with the love story and um it's really really awesome um but the way that jeff buckley performs it i think and he really just does it with guitar and voice um but it uh it it's so powerful and uh that is the hallelujah for me jeff buckley's version his debut album he had it was, it was kind of like half and half kind of similar to mine where it's half original and then he covered a bunch of songs as well but he really made those tunes his own um so yeah i i the the two uh most beautiful songs i heard from that record and just in general uh were hallelujah and, and lilac wine so i recorded lilac wine and it was tricky, <laughs> but I think we got a, a good, uh, a really good take, and uh, I thought the band was really supportive, and, you know, uh, what makes mine different is we have Adrian playing piano on it, and he's just so supportive and uh, really, really sensitive, and there's a lot of nuances and beauty in his playing, um, and, and hallelujah, yeah, I, I just wanted to always perform that song so here's my here was my chance and yeah. well I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord but you don't really care for music do you well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major lift, the baffled king composing Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. strong but you needed proof you saw bathing on the roof her beauty and the moonlight overthrew you she tied you to her kitchen chair she broke your throne and she cut your hair and from your lips she drew the eye It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Well, maybe there's a God above, but all I've ever learned from love was how to shoot somebody who outdrew you. And it's not a cry that you hear at night, it's not someone who has seen the light, it's a cold and it's a broken all and There's been plenty of ways that he's influenced me, uh, you know, musically or even the way I'll I'll sing something or um, it, who knows how it's kind of uh, creeped up by, into my subconscious. But uh, yeah, I I think I covered the songs that I really just were connected with. Um, and going forward, I'm sure he's going to continue to have a great influence on me. I was a choir boy for a really long time, and that was kind of my musical beginning. And I learned how to sing in an ensemble, and I uh, started to learn some really amazing music. Um, of course, at, at that time I was a soprano, <laughs> but uh, it was a really great way to develop my ear, and I think I've benefited greatly from from that. You know, being able to pick out different. Uh, harmonies and um, use that in in like a musical setting whether it's a performing thing or in my own writing if I'm writing backup vocals things like that uh, yeah and it was it was just a good overall experience for me to to have done that in my life and I don't think I would be the same artist that I am today without having that uh, experience in my life I have a show coming up uh, Friday April 10th at the Oakville Center for the Performing Arts. It's going to be an amazing show. Really excited about it. Um, I have a fantastic band behind me. Um, I got Drew Dureka playing uh, strings, and uh, I have a horn section behind me as well. It's going to be a combination of originals playing through the album and some really great standards and, and covers. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a great night, and you all should come.